Hey folks, Technivorous here. I just got this big old box and it is a Flash Forge Adventure 5M Pro. So in this video, Christmas is going to come a little bit early and we are going to unbox this bad boy and see how she prints. So after removing it from the box and removing a lot of the packaging, we're going to take off the plastic, open it up, and there is a lot of stuff inside that we also need to remove. So let's go ahead and free this up a little bit, get all of this stuff cleaned up here. There you go. And you can see that it's still got all this foam inside, which we need to remove. Now if you read the directions that come in the top of the box, it'll tell you which way that the foam needs to be removed. And then there's this little box down here that includes a lot of our goodies. We'll take it out. And as you open it up and see all the good stuff in there, you're gonna need that spool holder to attach the filament to the back of the printer. It also has some adhesive, some grease, some snippers, Allen wrenches, a declogger, a lot of the stuff that you normally have. So. Once we get everything out of the inside, what we're gonna to need to do is remove these four little machine screws that are indicated by the arrows inside the actual body of the machine. So now it should look pretty much like this. I have both the doors open. We're gonna grab the filament. I've already attached the filament spool holder to the back of the machine, as you can see around the corner here. Spool on, it's gonna go up into this Bowden tube here. It'll come around, come out the top, and go into the actual machine. Now I did have to push the Bowden tube down into the actual receiver there, but this is pretty much the only setup you're gonna to have to do, and you can see the filament in the tube. Let's go ahead and check this machine out now that we have it almost fully assembled. That was pretty much all you have to do is put the spool holder on and feed the filament in. Obviously I need to plug it in with the cord over here on the left, but then uh, you're up and printing. So this is our first test print. This is one of the models that came on the printer and it is a stylus or pen for a touch screen. And to do something tall and narrow is pretty impressive, but it did this in a total of about 40 minutes and that's pretty high. So this thing's going pretty fast uh, and the model quality is excellent. Yeah, so as you can see, it is still finishing up here. This is the first model that came on the machine. There are a couple of others, and in a minute here, you'll also see a bench either that I did. This is the final print. Final print time was 40 minutes, and for it to be hauling that fast and make something that's tall and skinny like this, I was really, really impressed. It came out beautifully, and I couldn't have asked for more when it came to a printer that is reliable, easy to set up, and fast. Now this blows my Ender 3 out of the water. It is amazing night and day. So you can see here the Benchy is beautiful, pretty much flawless. There was really no stringing or anything. All of the corners are straight. I don't see too bad of a seam, and you can see all the overhangs and lips around the doorway and the top of the roof are pretty good quality for how fast it spit this out. It made this in about 24 minutes, so that's a really, really impressive speed. Obviously, this is a Core XY machine, not a Cartesian machine, so that accounts for the speed, but if we try to slice something for ourselves, uh, the software was really forgiving. It is also included on the USB stick, and this model came out really, really sweet. So I'm gonna show you here as the machine gets ready and starts up, and then I'm gonna show you what the model looked like when it was completely done. Now, it's important to note, I did have a power failure while printing this piece. Now, as you can see, it is pretty awesome. You can't really tell that I had a power failure. The resume function worked really, really well with this printer. And obviously, this wasn't a print in place, it was printed in several pieces, but the pieces snap together and the tolerance is about perfect. Now, this is actually the bottom side and it's almost indistinguishable from the top side, even though you can get a little bit of the PEI texture if you get it just, just the right angle. But man, this model uh, spit out of there in about an hour and 20 minutes. That's for every piece, the whole build plate was full and everything went together just perfectly and amazingly well. Look at this print, guys. It's amazing. So this is a Velociraptor head for mounting on a wall, 
and it's just gorgeous. The quality here and speed, I mean, this was 11 hours. This would have taken two days on my Ender 3. So uh, this actually came out so well and so beautiful and it was so fast that I decided that I would also do a T-Rex head in this beautiful green. Now look at this thing hauling around and cranking this out. This particular model came out to be 13 hours, but man, it is just beautiful so far and I could not be more pleased with this printer. And apparently Midori loves it too. So the nice thing about this printer I haven't yet mentioned are a few more of the components hidden around the inside. There is a handy dandy air filter in there and there are some settings for that in the touch screen so you can adjust the fan flow and air and everything going on inside there. But there's also a webcam. So this will hook right up to your Wi-Fi and you can check it from pretty much anywhere. That's one of the nicest things I liked about this machine is with some of the setups that have cameras and webcams you either have to go to a specific website or you have to be on your home network to view them and from this I could see what was printing on my build plate from my phone every time so there are some other cool features involved in that such as the automatic time lapses you can do through the app I unfortunately haven't moved any of them over to my computer yet so you're not gonna see any of those in this video but Make sure you hit that subscribe button if that's something you want to see because I'm going to have a lot coming out in a mashup video in a couple of weeks. The other thing I wanted to mention was I had no problems with this printer. You open it up, you take it out of the box, you put the spool holder on the back, you take the four bolts out of the bottom, you auto level it once, and I haven't even had to go back and re-level it. I've printed several models. It is an amazing machine. The ease of use is easily a five out of five, and I think accessibility is a five out of five as well. The magnetic build plate is a nice touch. It's very easily removable, but I haven't had any problems with the models sticking or warping or not sticking to the bed for that matter. So this, I have nothing bad to say about this printer. This is honestly the best experience I've ever had with a desktop 3D printer and everything I touched, everything I tried to do came out pretty much flawlessly. Even when I had a power failure, the resume function is top notch. I could not ask for better. I couldn't even tell that it happened after I finished the print and I am very, very excited to try out everything that Flash Forge puts out from now on because this this was an eye opener guys it really is it's it's a world of difference between looking at a standard cartesian machine and seeing how fast this this can crank out a model and still have smooth beautiful lines no vibration no ringing it's just an amazing piece of equipment and i highly recommend checking it out uh, it is a little bit more spendy than a Cartesian machine, but I think the price difference is well worth it in the Adventure 5N Pro's favor. This machine, I don't think, can be beat for less than the price of a Bamboo Lab. So, uh, in my mind, it even blows the Prusa Mark III's out of the water. Uh, I'm very, very excited to share this with you guys. I'm gonna be showing you a lot of models that I do off here in, in the near future. Like I said, I have those time lapses coming and I've been assembling some larger models that I think will look pretty cool, uh, but they are long separate prints. So we'll see what's going on there. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends. And yeah, if you're gonna get one printer for Christmas this year, make sure it's this one because you will not be disappointed. Tech Nivers out.